All right. Hi, guys. Now we're on our last page. Well, I know you probably saw there's one more page after this, but it's more of a challenge page. This is the one I want you all to do. Um, number eight. And see how it says subtract. Remember, we're subtracting. We're starting with the biggest number. We're taking part of it away. And then we're showing the difference. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at this. I'm trying to trick you again. Remember, equal means the same as. What's on this side has to be the same as what's on this side. Something minus four is the same as five. Something is the same as 10 minus four. Okay, so make sure you're following. And if you have to say it out loud, does it make sense? Is what on one side the same as what's on the other side? Hey, if you have to draw a picture to help you solve it, that's okay, right? Okay. Um, number nine and 10 say, what time is it? So here it is on an analog clock, and you're going to write the digital time. Number 10 has the digital time. And you're going to make it on the analog clock. Make sure you remember that the little hand stands for an hour and the big hand stands for the minutes. You can look around the house if you have a clock to help you remember what you're doing. Number 11, this is what we've just been talking about. Here's our machine. We put a number in, boop, 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 a new number comes out. So with number 11, we have one thing, we have actually two things we have to figure out, okay? The first thing we have to figure out is what's the rule? We can look, four goes in, 14 goes out. 50 goes in, 60 goes out. How are those numbers changing? That's our rule. You need to know the rule to solve the last one where 55 goes in, you're not gonna know what goes out unless you figure out the rules. So you have to figure out what the machine is doing first, boop, 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 boop. and then you get to figure out the last answer right here. So you have to fill the rule in here, and then you'll figure out this one. Now, number 12, has to do with number 11. It says write a number sentence to check one of your answers. So that would be four, whatever happens in here is the same as 14. Okay, so it's gonna be a number sentence. So is your number sentence true? If your number sentence is true, then you know your answer was right. Okay, and then it asks you, is your number sentence true? And the next question is, was your answer right? So if your number sentence is true, your answer should be right. I know this is a lot of work to look at. We're not grading this. I'm not grading this. This is just for you to practice some of the skills. 